Greetings friends, this is Jason Yeldell with Yeldell Scientific and today we want to showcase a brand new exciting Excel plugin for our popular Excel point of sale platform that basically enables you to use your existing installation of Excel point of sale for your restaurant business. And now the way that this plugin works, it basically allows you to boost your restaurant food service or your short order business to the next level by way of functioning as a live display for your kitchen, cooking staff, and basically it will showcase all orders that were recently placed using Excel point of sale. So as food orders are placed with the Excel point of sale platform, the details of the order are then beautifully displayed on a clean, uncluttered, interactive interface for your staff so that they know what types of food items needed to be prepared. This would be analogous to someone manually writing a ticket and placing it up on the counter for the cook. But we've made that whole process automated so that you could have a display, a monitor, a laptop, a computer, or a PC in your kitchen area that will automatically show the details of any orders that were placed using the Excel point of sale. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to open up Excel point of sale. I'm just going to place some dummy orders and then we'll launch the plugin to show how it actually responds. So I'll go to new sale. I'll assign myself as the cashier to get credit for the sale. And let's say that a customer wants to order two cheeseburgers. I'll click that twice. We see our total. They gave me a $20 bill. We have our change. Let's say that the customer's name is John Doe. And let's check out. They gave us cash. And we're done with that order. And we'll just put in a few more extra orders so that we can see the way that this whole thing works together. So now let's put in a couple more orders. New sale, assign myself. This customer wants a hot dog and some french fries. They'll give us a $10 bill. We'll say that their name is Jane Doe, and we'll check out. Okay, very well. Let's put in another one. Very quickly and easy to do with Excel point of sale. This person just wants two orders of fries for whatever reason. We'll check out. Uh, we'll say that they didn't give a name, so let's check out who it as is. They paid with cash. Okay, and uh, let's do a final order where someone wanted three milkshakes. One, two, three. And a cheeseburger, why not? They gave us a $50 bill. We got our change. We'll say that their name is Greg Williams. And we'll check out. Now again, in real life, there will be a separate display in the kitchen that will automatically displaying these orders as they're coming in. But I'm showcasing it um, just on my one computer right now so you can get the general idea. Okay, so now we have four orders in. Now let's assume that there's also an additional computer, a laptop, a Surface Pro, a tablet, some kind of kiosk set up in the back in the kitchen area for these chefs to get access to these orders as they're coming in. So what they would do, they would actually have the software running the plugin. They would be running the Excel point of sale plugin to receive those orders as they're coming in. So I'm going to open that up now, but we can assume it was already running in the back end. It actually runs off of Microsoft Word, which is really cool. So right now we can see this is the display that the back end, the chefs, the short order cooks would have in the background in the kitchen running at all times. So they can see currently it shows you the first three orders that were placed. Um, and these are orders that are outstanding that needs it to be filled. So if I'm a cook in the background, I'll see that the first order that came in was for two cheeseburgers. I'll make the two cheeseburgers. I'll ring a bell. I'll put them up on the rack so that their waitress can come grab them and give them to the patron. So let's say that I did that and I'm just going to tap the checkbox with my finger because I'm using a, a touchscreen Surface Pro. And then that order is now cleared and now we can see that it now shuffled. 1001 is gone. So now we just have the remaining three orders that were placed using Excel point of sale. Let's say for whatever reason, order 1002, we can't fill just yet because our hot dogs are still cooking. I can still fulfill order 1003. They just want two orders of fries. So I'll do that. I'll bag it up. 
I'll ring my bell, I'll put it up on the rack so the waitress can come get it, and then I'll tap the actual check box for 1003 and now that order is fulfilled, and we can see that there's no more orders in our first slot of first three orders. Uh, so that's very easy, very convenient, convenient to use, very user-friendly for your kitchen staff. This will just be up. You can actually put this and mount it on a 40-inch display on a touchscreen LCD, or you can just have it on a, a static computer monitor um, with a mouse and keyboard just so they can be aware of any orders that were placed using the Excel point of sale. So I'm going to leave those two orders up. Let's go back to Excel point of sale, assuming that I'm now um, someone in the front end of the store and a new order comes in. Someone wants something else. I'm going to place that order. And let's say that they want uh, a cheeseburger, a hot dog, some french fries, and a milkshake. And their name is Jason. We'll allow them to pay. They gave us a $100 bill. We'll check out. All is well. They gave us cash. We gave them back their change. Very good. So now we can close out of here. Now, again, assuming I'm a cook in the back, I would already be looking at this screen, and now we can see that a new order now exists. We have an order 1005 for the person Jason, and we can see the details of those uh, particular items. Amazingly, we engineer all of these applications using your existing installation of Microsoft Office. We don't rely on anything else. So if you have a computer, you have a laptop, you have a kiosk, we have software for you, and it's very intuitive, very user-friendly, and very inexpensive. So I'm a short order cook. I fulfilled order 1005. I'll tap that with my finger and say that it's done. And now we can see that there's no more pending orders in that particular slot. Thanks again for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next time we have some updated software. Thank you.